And General uh, Lakamara, I, I would like to thank, congratulate you on your nomination and thank you for your 35 plus years of service to our country. And I look forward to meeting with you later this week to discuss some of the biggest challenges facing U.S. forces in the ROK. Well, we're closely watching the COVID-19 case rate in Asia in order to protect our friends in the region. I am currently leading, planning to lead a bipartisan CODEL to the ROK and Singapore with my colleague and fellow member of this committee, Senator Sullivan. Our top objective for this trip is to send a message that our commitment to Asia is strong and bipartisan and that our presence in the region will not waver with changes in, administrator, in administration or control of the Congress. We are prioritizing this trip and the chance to engage extensively with the top leadership in South Korea, specifically because this alliance is so important to the continuation of a free and open Indo-Pacific region. Of course, our forces in Korea play a pivotal role in deterring North Korean aggression. But I do believe that a sustained U.S. presence in uh, Korea also sends a strong message about our commitment to the broader Indo-Pacific for all of our regional allies and partners. Furthermore, any improved skills and coordination that developed during our bilateral training with South Korea's military multiply when South Korea participates in multilateral exercises with other regional partners. Uh, General La Camara, uh, of course, U.S. forces Korea must never lose focus on the Korean Peninsula. But you noted in your advanced policy question that given the global role of the U.S. military and increasingly the international reach of the South Korean military, opportunities are emerging for alliance cooperation beyond Korea, the Korean Peninsula. Can you please elaborate on these comments? What opportunities do you see? And if confirmed, how would you encourage Interpaycom and our Korean allies to capitalize on these opportunities? Yes, Senator, and I look forward to our conversation. The, um, as in my current role as the U.S. Army Pacific Commander, uh, this is our large, uh, our year to, for Defender Pacific uh, 2021. And as we reach out to our partners and allies, we're, we look for opportunities um, multilateral. Um, those obviously need to be engaged um, and negotiated with uh, the host nations. Uh, but we are looking for, you know, to our partners and allies and looking for the training opportunities, whether a tabletop exercise, a simulation, um, or, uh, or live, um, live exercises. And we've got several of those this, uh, this summer. Thank you. I am particularly concerned that our logistics and sustainment operations will be highly vulnerable, in particular in a contested environment. As you discuss in your advanced policy questions, posturing a combat credible force is key to deterrence on a peninsula and force is not a combat credible if we can't realistically sustain it in a contested logistic environment. Ensuring that US military services are fielding sufficient logistics capability and capacity to meet Indo-PACOM and U.S. Forces career requirements is key. However, I do believe that we need to consider additional measures to reduce the burden on vulnerable supply lines, such as pre-positioning stock and leveraging our alliances and friendships across um, uh, the region to uh, access critical supplies. General LaCamera, based on your past experience, what is your assessment of our ability to sustain a combat credible force on the Korean Peninsula? Yes, Senator, I, I share your concerns in, in my current role as the U.S. Army Pacific Commander responsible for, for setting the theater and, uh, and working with uh, not just General Abrams, but um, Commander Indo-PACOM and the other services. Uh, the Army is responsible uh, for better than 50 percent of uh, the common items. And so we're looking for unique opportunities um, on not just uh, the preposition, but what are the other things? We have, we have to continue to, to experiment, and that's what these exercises allow us to do. Um, are there other ways for us to resupply? What can we get on the local economy? Um, and, uh, and quite frankly, I don't think our adversaries will allow us um, you know, to build the Iron Mountain. Um, so we're going to have to protect those assets uh, once, once we get there. Thank you. If confirmed, how would you recommend we enhance our logistics capabilities to ensure U.S. forces Korea can fight tonight? Uh, Senator, if confirmed, uh, we'll look at, uh, you know, the stockage um, on the Korean Peninsula. We'll look at uh, the capability of um, the peninsula to be able to 
to generate um, resupply and then look at uh, the multiple avenues uh, to allow those uh, that resupply to occur and to keep the lines of communication um, open. Thank you, General. I look forward to supporting your confirmation. I'm out of time, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Duckworth. Now let me recognize Senator 